All of our behaviors are controlled by the brain. And it is the synapse, the junction between nerve cells that plays a crucial role in all of our innate and learned behaviors, as well as in many different brain diseases. In recent years, we and other scientists have discovered that there are far more types of synapses. They are very much more diverse than we had previously thought. And we learned this by studying the proteins that are inside the synapses. Here at Edinburgh University, we have developed ways that allow us to examine billions of individual synapses across the brain, and in each one of those, examine the proteins and map the location of those synapses. In this way, we can generate maps of the brain, which are called synaptone maps. And now we have completed a study for the first time that allows us to ask, how do synapses change in all parts of the brain at all ages across the lifespan? To find the individual synapses, we take thin brain sections and image them with a microscope that reveals the synapses as small colored dots. We have done this work in the mouse, which has a much smaller brain and a shorter lifespan than humans, but it is an excellent model of the human brain because all the fundamental features are the same. Here we see a cross section of a newborn mouse brain. Now we see the synapses, there are relatively few, and the graph on the top right corner shows there is low diversity. Zooming in, we will now transform each synapse type into a different type of flower, so we can view the synaptome as though we were flying over a garden. Here is the juvenile brain, and it is clear that there are now more synapses and greater diversity. In the young adult brain, there is even more synapses and diversity, and you can see how the different areas of the brain are populated with different types of flowers. The mature adult brain has the maximum number of synapses and high diversity. In the old brain, there has been a loss of synapses and a change in the composition of synapse types in different brain regions. The Synaptome Atlas is a roadmap for understanding behaviour and disease. We can understand how different parts of the brain work and understand why different diseases start at different ages. Autism has its onset in young children, schizophrenia in young adults and depression in middle age and dementia in old age. All of these disorders involve synapses.